Assalamualaikum, my name is Nia Ayah Shafiq Al-Ghani Fikir Al-Zuki and I am from Group 4. My group will present about the impact of consumer behaviour on water consumption in household for um, research method for operations management and this presentation prepared for Professor Madhya Dr. Haiza Ben Tishai. Our group consists of five members. Number one is Tan Huayu, number three, 281232. Second is Nur Aishatika Binti Mazuki, 279824. Third is Muhammad Nur Ikram Bin Zurani, 278500. Fourth is Nur Zaini Aisha Binti Muhammad Zaki, number three is 277318. And last one is Nur Shahira Binti Min, number three is 278878. I'm here again and I will continue to present about the relationship between the water consumption and the consumer behavior. From here, we can see we have a lot of the article. The water in the sustainable manner through the conservations in household in Brunei. And also the service quality and com uh, customer certifications as an intentions of finance sustainability of water service provider, water demand elasticity under risk condition, and uh, water usage behavior from Muhammad and S. Muhammad. And we can see the pattern of water consumption among the students in uh, Cross River University Carver Campus, Nigeria. And also the smart design of the energy saving what and water saving facility a perspective emotions factor and all of these articles are related with the water consumption and the consumer uh, water consumption behavior and also how we save the water and the water sustainability. And all these articles have the same uh, relationship with our main title that is the consumption, water consumption in household in Malaysia. Hello everyone, my name is Tan Huayu. I'm continue again with the Malaysia domestic water consumption data. From here we can see the first data is the domestic water consumption in Malaysia from 2012 until 2021. The since that this histogram is an uptrend from 5.87 billion liter per day until 7.11 billion liter per day, and this means that our Malaysia's con water consumption is a bit higher, so way higher compared to others uh, country. And the second data from here we can see the water fact in at the glasses 2020 this is a summary data from the water and sewer facts books 2020 by the national water uh, service consumption from here we can see the number of account registered to uh, use the water is almost 7.6 million of the user and 6.6 .6 million is from the domestic households and the water water consumption is uh, 9, 9, MLD, and for the domestic households is about sixty three percent is a, uh, about six thousand something, and for the water interruption is means that this the water being a uh, stop or the shortage or uh, the water did not come from the pipe and. From here we can see the schedule third is about 2020 but the unscheduled third is 67345. This this means that this a lot of the water shortage due to the maybe due to the input volume is uh, not enough or maybe is the water dump is uh, not enough of the reserve water or maybe the pipe breaking and some other issues so we need to uh, do the research on that and know what the factors that 
used to this. From here, we can see the water supply. We have uh, the number of treatment plant is 330. The design capacity is about 70,000. 17,000 MLD and the water demand is 15,000 MLD. From here we can see uh, this is only have 2,000 something MLD for us to have a capacity or the space to work around. If our water consumption uh, is uh, increased about uh, 2,000 and something over that we are not able to cover our domestic water consumption this and let's continue to the next slide okay from here we can see the third data is the domestic consumption per capita by stage from here we can see the top one is the police maybe due to the party uh, farming farming farm uh, farming activities and the other uh, stage is around 200 something so this means that uh, each of the households use the water is 200 and something for each person per day. Uh, from here, the, you can see the Penang is 300 and 010 and the Kada is 263. Oh my god, this is a lot, way a lot more uh, compared with the uh, around the world. On this is the fourth data is about the from the WWF and here's the facts it give the awareness to the water consumption uh, maybe for the domestic households and others to know about the water and seven we know that uh, the earth is made up from 70% of the water and only 3% of the earth uh, earth water is fresh water and the 97th water of the earth is the salt water means the uh, sea from the sea and so on and from here we can see our uh, Malaysian's name is state um, there is Malaysian's average water usage is around 210 liters per day and compared to the United Nations recommended you state is 50 until 100 liter per day this is a way more highest and uh, maybe it's a double from the recommendations you state uh, rate and this from here we can see if we uh, want to uh, reproduce uh, farming for one kilo of the rice we need uh, 3100 per uh, liters to uh, reproduce it so it means that a lot of the water needed to to uh, to produce a rice so and also we can see the 250 grams of the cotton stretch is equals to 2,500 2, liters water to produce it and here we can see the water consumption for our nation is a bit more higher and but for if the stage that have the party farming activity so we can assume that is uh is uh, uh due to the party farming activity but from here we can see the Penang like I said the Penang don't have many place to uh, make the uh, party farm so that means that water consumption from the households is a bit more highest and for the fifth data is the data about the WHO from the allowance limit from WHO is about uh, 115 uh, a bit more but our, uh, for our country the Malaysia's water consumption from 2009 until 2016 is 200 above and above so this means that we are over the water consumption compared to the rest of the world and we continue to the sixth 
data uh, the data from the uh, NIS, the Malaysia domestic water consumption from the SDG six. The Malaysia is co progress on the achieve the SDG six. From here, we can see the facilities of uh, the majority of the Malaysians. The ability of the pipe water in households is almost universe and ninety five percent in uh, Malaysia. 2019 and this is very good for us because uh, we achieved the SDG 6 the, cons uh, the water consumption uh, the water supply is uh, provided to almost 95% of the households but in 2020 the water consumption for the Peninsula Malaysia Svelda territories of Labo is about 240 liters per capita per day. Uh, from here we can see the this has clearly said that the UN benchmark of the daily water requirement is at 165 liters per some per day. But we are already above almost I think is uh 35 40, almost 80 liter compared to the uh, normal average water requirement that stated by the UN benchmark and this high level con water consumption is due to the you see from here we can see it's due to the lower water tariff for the Malaysia to pay the average and this is the among the so East Asia is the lowest uh, that means that maybe one of the facts of the nations use the water uh, high water consumption is due to the lower water tariff but we need to research on this and also why we want to conduct this research okay the second is the Malaysia rainfall data from here we can see the world, uh, the first data is the world distribution of percentage of this is the region of latitude of distribution. The yearly precipitation average over the earth is about 100 cm, is 39 inches. But this is country, uh, distribution is very river. From here, we can know that the average of the rainfall is about 100 cm per year. But from the uh, second data, we can see here is the monthly. Peninsula Malaysia's uh, rainfall data and this is for the year of 2018 and we can see the category of four season from here is the northwest season is from no uh, November until uh, February that is uh, the highest uh, rainfall uh, millimeter from here we can see is about 1000 and 100 until 1000 one, uh, 1299 millimeters per day uh, per day or what maybe in the month of the average you can see clearly the rainfall is high higher than the average of 100 cm because uh, 1100 is about uh, 100 uh, 100 1000 is about 1 cm for the average and the uh, March and April is about 300 until 400 something and for the May until August is same with almost same with the November and February is about uh, 900 700 millimeters rainfalls data and for the September until August is uh, be lower is average of 400 until uh, 599 and the third data is the water perceptions by millimeter by the year from here we can see our Malaysia the rainfall data is about two two average is 2050 until 3000 millimeter per year from here we can see uh, this is one or tr uh, almost three times 
compared to the average of the world is 100, right? From here is uh, 250 until 300 cm for Malaysia's rainfall data. So this might be the factor why the water tariff is lower and the uh, Malaysia's household's water consumption behavior is a bit more higher compared with the rest of the world. I think that's all from me. My name is Nur Ainshafika Binti Marzuki and my metric number is 279824. I will explain about the uh, problem statements. The influence of consumer behavior on home water uses has been a growing source of concern due to the environmental and economic repercussions. Understanding the elements that determine water consumption is critical to designing effective ways to encourage sustainable water use. Nonetheless, despite the significance of this subject, there is a need for further research and analysis to truly understand the link between consumer behavior and water uses. This issue statement seek to fill this void by investigating a variety of research study that study various aspects of consumer behavior and their effect on home water consumption. The impact of demographic characteristics such as age, gender, income and education level on household water use. The study intends to discover significant correlation between demographic characteristics and water consumption habits by analyzing data from a very simple of homes. The findings will help researchers be, uh, better understand how social demographic factors influence consumer behavior and the consequences for water conservation initiative. And this is a study will uh, is the based on the past research research that uh, we get from Switch J and uh, Johnson uh, 2022. Next academic research that we found is from the Brown R and Garcia M 2021. Uh, it was focused on lifestyle characteristics such as dwelling, uh, dwelling type, household size, and the number of appliances used as drivers of water use in families. The study intends to give the insight into the significance of this factor in creating water consumption patterns by studying the disparities in water uses between various lifestyle groups. And lastly, we choose the, the past research by the author of Jones L. and K. Smith with a day uh, a finding will have uh, their, their finding will have to design targeted interventions and suggestions to encourage water conservation at the home level. The effect of behavior variables such as water conservation knowledge, environmental concerns, and personal preference of household waters. The study intends to discover the behavior variables that sustainability impact the water use patterns using survey data and qualitative analysis. So, his studies aim to give a full knowledge of the complicated link between consumer behavior and water use in household by examining this three schooler study. Policymakers, water management, authorities and academics will utilize the data to design targeted policies and intervention to reduce water use and promote sustainable water uh, sustainable water usage practice at the home level hi and assalamualaikum my name is muhammad nur ikram bin zurani my metric number is 278500 now i want to talk about a research objective and research question research objective First, to investigate the various factors that influence water consumption among households in Changlun. Second, to identify the role of individual attitudes and perception toward water scarcity and conservation practices in water consumption choices among households. And the last one is to determine cultural and social factors influencing water consumption practices in different communities. Next is research question. For the first one is, what are the factors influencing water consumption patterns 
among household in Changlong areas. Second one is how do individual attitude and perception about water scarcity and conservation practices influence water consumption choices in household. And the last one is what are the cultural and social factors influencing water consumption practices in different communities. Okay, my name is Nur Zaini Aisha binti Muhammad Zaki. My metric number 277318. Okay, next, I will explain about the scope of the study in the, this research. Okay, this study uh, intend to explore and analyze how customer behavior and water use in the household are related. The study will concentrate uh, on figuring out how different the demographic factors, lifestyle decisions and the behavior traits affect the how much water people use in the, their house. Um, for the demographics, uh, this study will look at the how income, uh, education level, age and the gender affect the water use uh, trends. We can find pattern and variance in the water usage uh, depending on the, this characteristic by examining data from the various demographic groups. Next, in context uh, lifestyle, this study will examine the effect of the lifestyle factors on the water use, uh, including household size, housing type is uh, single family homes with the apartments, and the presence of the appliance. Understanding this relationship can help us better understand how the living layout affects the water use, the impact of the individual preference environments. Um, concerns and knowledge of the water conservations on the household water use will be examined in the these studies. We can uh, determine the degree to which a person's attitude and the belief influence water saving behaviors by evaluating the behavior behaviors aspects. The measure measurements and the quantifications of the water use in the household across the various demographics and behavior category will be the main goal of the study. The participant uh, residents will be used to gather information on the water use um, which will be recorded uh, accurately using the right procedure. Structure survey will be used to the gather quantitative data from the per uh, sample of the household. The survey will ask a question about the demography, home types, uh, appliance use, water conservation, awareness and the environmental attitude in the additions to questions about the water use patterns. The sample will be selected using the random sampling uh, technique to ensure the pre representativeness and generalizability of the finding. Uh, 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 sample size will be determined to achieve statistical significance and reduce sampling error. Appropriate uh, statistical technique will be used to analyze the quantitative data uh, gathered from the survey uh, to summarize the participants' demographics and the water consumption habit. Uh, descriptive uh, statistic will be used. We will utilize the inferential statistic. Uh, appropriate uh, statistical technique will be used to analyze the quantitative data gathered from the survey to summarize the participant demographics and the water consumption habit. Uh, descriptive statistic will be used. We will utilize inferential statistic to analyze the link between the independent factors, demographics, way of the life and behavior, and the dependent variable which is the water consumption using the corre correlations analysis and regressions modeling. Next, I will pass to next presenter. This study will be significant for all parties, particularly households that must consume water. The findings will keep the body of information where future water consumption studies can be conducted and be valuable. Additionally, it will help us learn how households, households behave in terms of water consumption. Water consumption. The study's finding will help people become more conscious of the need to gradually alter their water use habits. Not only that, but it 
Minister so emphasize the importance of teaching policymakers how to strengthen the country's deficiencies in order to get the best out the best outcomes for saving and conserving water resources. Finally, the the enforcement agencies will be able to comprehend the reasons for household awareness and improve their understanding of proper water usage.